Welcome back to the Everlast Builders Hub. Um, today we're going to be doing some roof repairs. I'll show you this roof in a sec. Um, they've got litre water coming through their ceiling um, due to the felt on the roof kind of giving way. So if I turn the camera around. So this is the roof we're dealing with. There's not much of a fall on it. And I think water's kind of getting in underneath. It's a common problem is on the ends. It's mainly the ends what go first, as you can see. There's a bird nest in there. Um, yeah, and they do get pretty battered. They get the most of the weather down on the bottoms as well, so you can see it's all kind of brittle and gone. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, obviously taking these three layers of roof tiles off, we're going to take these battens off, one, two, three, and then we're going to run a new bit of felt tucked in underneath this one here, because we're okay up there. So you're going to leave all that up there, tuck the new one in there, at least 100 mil, I'd say, and then run across. We're, uh, we're actually doing this off a tough scaffold tower but ideally you want to uh full scaffolding but you can do it off a tower just make sure it's nice and secure so yeah i'm gonna get cracking i'm gonna get these all off and then i'll show you where we're at next so i've just noticed on this roof as well another one of the issues is they've had the fascia redone but the face is actually coming up too high this the felt is supposed to run underneath this button over the fascia and then down but as the face is up too high the water's just going to sit on, sit in here. So I think what we're going to have to do is cut all this fascia back so it's lower than the felt, annoyingly. It's going to be a bit of a job, but we'll get it done. You can see I'm carried on getting the tiles off now. Get a few more off there, then we'll get this section done and then move along. First section, tiles off. Got about three metre stretch here. Because I'm on a tower, ideally I could have done with another one. But what I'm going to do, instead of keep moving here, there and everywhere, I'm gonna get this section done, completed, and then move over to the next section. So I'm gonna get these battens off now. So I removed remove this first button, which was on top of this fascia here. And you see the felt's supposed to come on top of that into the gutter, but obviously this plastic fascia they put on after is higher. So water's literally gonna puddle down here. So I'm gonna cut that off now. Leave them on for, leave these ones on for a sec. These are what I'm holding on to for dear life. Cut that off, and then we'll be cracking. Cut, cut that all off. Just, just removing the old felt now. So what the issue was, water was obviously tracking down into the onto the soffit, running along here, and dropping straight down there, which is the cavity for the building. So it's not ideal. Probably could have done with a bit of insulation in there, really, just on that top. But naughty, naughty. But we haven't got any, so we're just going to carry on. I might just put a bit of felt in there actually, just to stop it going again. But yeah, so we'll get that in there now. Here we are, just getting the felt on now. I'm just getting a few staples. No, not don't go too crazy with the staples or anything. Uh, just enough to hold it in place. We're lucky today; it's not windy, so I'm actually up here on my own. There is someone else here somewhere. Gary, are you there? Yes, I'm here. There he is, oh, see? Two man up this, but it's a bit tight up here, so Gary's staying down there. But yeah, so getting the felt on there, just a couple of staples here and there, nothing too crazy. Before I took the bat battens off, I measured the distance between them and rode it on there. So I'm gonna pop them battens back in in a minute, get this area all done. Um, so yeah, and then move on over there. Right, let's get the battens back on. So there we have it, felt's on got the battens back on and you can see now here if any water gets underneath the tiles it's going to go under the battens down and then just run down there sometimes you can put a dpm under there as well to lip it over but that's going to be enough for these you've got quite yeah that's all we need to do so now i'm going to start getting the tiles back on i've left all these bits on there and clips so i can just hook them on back on as i go along happy days so they're starting to go back in now. I'm just cleaning up the joints as I go. Clean them up a little bit. And then just make sure they all sit in there properly. They're all in now. Stuck them M ones down with some construction grade foam. And then we've got these little clips on the end here to hold them down because the wind does try and drive them up. So yeah, all right, almost there. Phase one. So that is it. The roof is all back on now to there. I'm going to overlap that felt when I do the next one over to the next 
uh, timber going across. So there's going to be a it's well overlap join there when I unroll that. But that's about it. So I swept it all off. I've left the guttering on. It's easier for working. If you can leave the guttering on there, just to put your tools in. And now I've swept it all into the gutter. It's just easy to clear all that moss out now. Right, so that's that. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. Hope you found it helpful.